What's up, my Crusaders for Christ? Y'all know the drill. Go to YouTube. Go to the at sign. Go, go, go team. Like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page. Share with your friends. Today um, is Holy Week. It's Thursday, Journey to the Cross. Um, so today is the day that Jesus offers his blood and his body as a sacrifice at the Last Supper, Supper, which ties in perfectly with what we were talking about. So let's pick up there. Jesus willingly had laid down his life for us, bearing the weight of his sin or weight of our sins upon the cross. His death serves as the atoning sacrifice that reconciled the gap between humanity and God. And he offered us, you know, eternal salvation. But then, of course, the story doesn't end there. Jesus triumphantly rises from the grave, conquering sin and death on the third day. I don't know how we get bunnies and coloring eggs, but it's not Easter Sunday. It's Resurrection Sunday. We need to celebrate Jesus. The resurrection of Christ is obviously the cornerstone of faith, right? Because through his death, we have victory and we have eternal life with him. But more so, the, this ushered in the age of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus promised his disciples in uh, what is it? Acts 1.8. But ye shall receive the power that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Somalia, unto the uttermost parts of the earth. The Holy Spirit was sent by the risen Christ. And it empowers us to live victoriously as followers of Jesus. And through the indwelling process of the Holy Spirit, we're then sanctified, guided, and empowered to fulfill the Great Commission. So as Christians, this means that we have been redeemed, reconciled, and renewed. Our sins are separated as far as the East is from the West. And our name is written in the Book of Life. All because of the resurrection of Jesus. It means that we are then called to proclaim the salvation unto the world and a world that needs hope and healing. So, and, and we're guided with the assurance that the Holy Spirit accompanies us every step of the way. So my brothers and sisters, if you have not yet come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to do so. We are never promised tomorrow. The greatest lie that the devil tells us is that we will have time. Think about that. We don't always have time. So, there's no fancy words. What you got to know is the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I love you with the love of the Lord, and let's go, go, go tell the world about Jesus.